Hello and welcome to yet another not a tutorial. Uh, sorry there was nothing up yesterday. Well, depending on when you're watching this, there was potentially nothing up yesterday. Uh, and that was because I've had major computer issues, but we are back. We are back better than ever. I'm using a, a bit of a different system. I'm on a Mac now. I was on a PC before. Um, so, but I'm hoping everything will be fine. Everything will work. I think everything, everything looks like it's all right. Okay. But looks can be deceiving. Uh, anyway, we're into it. And I've just got to say thank you so much for all the wonderful feedback on the channel. It's been amazing. Appreciate it. Yeah, tops. Now, speaking of on the channel, uh, I had a comment. Hopefully it'll be there. Might be there. Could be there. Might not be on here at all. There was a comment though, and it said, uh, it was on the koala drawing. It said, hey, can you draw a kangaroo playing tennis? Um, I was like, sure. Can do that, I think. So let's jump to a little bit different. We're not going to, well, can we use reference actually? Yes, we should be using reference. I may have deleted my reference though. So you use reference, okay? I'm going to be a bad person and not use reference. Because uh, I've got an idea of what I want to draw. Uh, heads up, I've already had a little bit of a play around um, because I'm trying to make these shorter um, just because they're very long. Um, so uh, I've got an idea of what I want to draw. I'm making them longer by raveting on. So let's just draw. Okay, here we go. So we are going to be doing a... Uh, kangaroo playing tennis uh, a la um, what's his name he did it's in the comment uh, he, I'll remember his name as we're drawing um, Leighton Hewitt there we go a la Leighton Hewitt great Aussie tennis player so what we're going to do is we'll start off with the head actually no sorry a lie we're going to start off with the nose of our uh, kangaroo right because it's very similar to how I'll st I would start drawing a giraffe because they have these long faces, so it sort of gives me that chance to see this cylinder type shape here. That kind of gives you your start of your kangaroo's noggin, uh, which is long. So uh, we're going to do uh, we're going to do what we don't normally do in these. It's a bit of a dynamic pose. I know, getting crazy up in this shizé. So remember, if you haven't seen the video on the um, magic bean then you will be like, what's he drawing? But if you have, then you'll be like, oh, look, there's the magic bean. There's that magic bean again. Look at that, all right? So we're drawing it. We're getting this little bit of a, a what would be called by a real proper artist, a line of action going, okay? Nice line of action, okay? But for me, I just call it uh, that, shape. Uh, so, <laughs> so there's that, all right? So uh, let's get in our legs. So we want... Kangaroos have obviously got sort of these big, big bouncy legs. Uh, so let's let's over exaggerate the feet. Okay, let's just get always a nice rough sketch at the moment. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, that's a nice little wonderful one. That's probably a little tad over exaggerated, but that's right. We'll fix that in a second. Now let's now remember that's the leg that's sort of behind um, the this section so you what you don't really you won't see much of what I would call the hip or joint area that's annoying me that legs I'm just gonna thin it out a bit it's a bit too comical almost like a, a clown's foot and he's not a clown he is a kangaroo uh, okay so this is now this is the front leg so you will see those nice big if I had my reference I'd be able to show you that nice big bit that they've got it's almost like a chicken drumstick right don't eat kangaroos, although we do in Australia uh, eat kangaroo. Uh, there is a, you can buy it in your local supermarket. Uh, it's, uh, for those who haven't eaten kangaroo before, it is, um, it's a very gay, it's a, it's a, look, it, it is an acquired taste. Um, but if you are a uh, bodybuilder uh, or you're into lean meat, then the kangaroo would be a good choice for you. Not for the kangaroo. Um, what a lot of people don't know about kangaroos in Australia is they're actually classified as a pest. Um, so I don't think they're a pest. I think they're wonderful animals. But farmers, not so keen on them. We've got lots of them, and they tend to destroy the crops. So, anywho, that's enough of a lesson in Australian culture slash animal murder. And let's keep drawing our kangaroo. So... Thinner at the top, fatter at the bottom. 
Uh, let's get this second foot in. As you can see, we've got a, a bit of, so it's a bit more of a dynamic person. You're not just standing there. We've got, you know, people, if you watch uh, real artists, they'll talk about the silhouette and uh, how that looks. We won't be, so this would have a interesting silhouette. Uh, okay, so there's that bloody foot there. Look at that. We'll put in these little unders. I don't know. This would be. Would this be showing the underside of the of the foot slash paw? Possibly. Who knows? Uh, looks alright though, doesn't it? I think so. Uh, all right. So now uh, he's playing tennis. So this arm is going to have to. He's going to be. He's going to be reaching for a shot. So let's get. Let's get that in. Now, this is the only time you'll probably see me talk, or hear me, or see me talk. No, may not. Uh, talking about uh, anatomy. Now, anatomy is a hell of a subject. Uh, it, is, uh, it is very extensive, uh, crazy. Polko, I believe, is the YouTube channel you want to go to when you're learning about uh, things like anatomy. Now, I am no good with anatomy. I, I, can, I, I get a rough, a rough idea of of the anatomy so we, we need obviously he needs a shoulder so this is his shoulder part now obviously there's an armpit so uh, and then we've got the the muscle on the arm there and then let's put this going up like so and let's give him an elbow of course and then we've got a sort of sort of arm there there you go Right, all muscly kangaroos are extremely well male kangaroos extremely muscly now i'm going to make this a female kangaroo and you'll see why in a second because i've got an idea for this drawing uh because i like to add a little bit of a little bit of humor into my drawings uh so we can all have a nice chuckle let's get this other arm in this other arm doesn't really need to be doing much maybe it's just sort of making a fist so it's just for now let's just draw a circle we don't have to worry about the fingers yet. We don't have to worry about the elbow, thankfully, because that's hiding behind the big head. Uh, and let's okay, go back to this. Um, this is going to be holding a tennis racket. So, you know, if you need reference, look at that. You've got a hand. So grab something that, as if you were grabbing a tennis racket. That's how I do it. And then I go, okay, so my thumb goes like that. Fingers. And we won't give him five fingers because he's a kangaroo that would be ridiculous why would you give a kangaroo playing tennis five fingers that's insanity we'll give him th three that's all we need three he's holding a tennis racket i'm just going to put the handle in there at the moment i mean we can just sort of rough out a rough out a tennis racket you know sort of that shape in it sort of that shape let's give our kangaroo a sweat band leighton hewitt uh, those who don't know great australian tennis player uh Married to Beck Hewitt, who was in Home and Away. Uh, also useless information for you there, but he now coaches the Australian team. I believe he still does that. Uh, now let's chuck in the kangaroo. The kangaroos have got pretty big ears, so let's just get that, that in there. Let's get another ear in over here. Okay, so there we go. We've got a pretty good looking kangaroo. Now, definitely use, I did have reference, but obviously, as I said, I had all these computer issues yesterday. And, um, oh yeah, I've literally I've got a whole new computer now, uh, a good old Mac. Um, so I'm just making a fist so I can see how um, this sort of hand might look. So literally, as simple as that, let's give him some Sweatbands on his wrists as well. Let's do one over. Oh, the racket's going to hide it. That's all right. We'll just give the the idea that it's there. I mean, I could have put it down here, but that's not realistic, is it? And we're talking about a kangaroo playing tennis, so we want realism. Okay. So yeah. So as I said, I did have reference. Got a few kangaroo photos up uh, to see. Now this is why I want to make this a female kangaroo because I want to have a bit of fun here. I'm going to, obviously, female kangaroos um, have a pouch and uh, they have what they call a joey in the pouch. So I'm going to chuck a joey 
in its mum's pouch. Very aggressive Joey. He's, uh, that's the eyes in here. Uh, his ears as well. Let's have his, uh, his little arm coming out. I'll give him a shoulder as well. Let's stick with some form of anatomy here. Again, awful anatomy. It's not, you know, there's no, and he'll have. Uh, so we can turn this sideways and just do a similar grip as we did on the other kangaroo. Tennis racket. He's like, I'll have a go as well, Mum. Come on. Let's do doubles. Let's play a game of doubles. Uh, let's not worry about the other arm too much. That can be still in the pouch. Let's just sort of, once we ink, we'll give a sort of better idea of a pouch. Like that is our baby kangaroo in the pouch. So there we go. Oh, we need a tennis. What, what are we hitting here? Tennis ball. Tennis ball there. Should we give this the baby a tennis ball to hit as well? Where would that go? Maybe there. Double tennis. Kangaroo. And it's Joey playing tennis. Why not? All right, what I might do is just use our arrow tool. I might just turn snapping off and let's just tip it backwards slightly and we'll bring the size down so it looks like a bit leaping. Oh, I forgot the, I forgot the kangaroo's tail. Well, maybe now kangaroos do use their tails to sort of lift. You can see that's quite amazing because their tails are very, very muscly and very strong. Um, and they do use them to sort of lift themselves. More the males when they're fighting. Uh, so let's have the kangaroo using the tail to balance so they don't fall over. All right, let us pull back the opacity on that. If you want to know how to uh, drop opacity on um, the on this. <laughs> Two fingers, tap on the layer, boom, opacity, drag it back, like so. Uh, and then let's go dark pencil. Now for this, people who've been watching my videos will know that I have been using a new inking pen for this. I'm gonna go back to my old favorite of the dry ink, and we might use my new inking pen um, when it comes to the uh, shading. Now, oh, new layer, not on the same layer, so let's Let's get our nose in first. Like so. Now this has got a, a little bit of perspective to it, obviously, because the, the head's sort of going backwards, so the whole body is that whole body sort of moving back a bit, so things get a little bit smaller on the way back. Uh, let's chuck in a little eye socket here so the eyes just not floating there because that would be weird wouldn't it be weird just to have a floating eye kangaroos i don't believe i mean look i am no david attenborough but i'm pretty sure kangaroos don't have floating eyes again i apologize for any notifications that pop up from my instagram i have forgotten to yet again put this into flight mode uh, okay, so if you fancy following me on Instagram, you can do that. Search at JK Doodles Daily. Uh, Alright, let's chuck in our headband. Don't forget to follow the curve because obviously the head is curved, so you don't want a flat headband, it'll look a little bit silly. Let's chuck in our ears. Like so, do not like that. Let's redo it. Okay. No, actually, I know I said I did make a joke, obviously, at the start of this video about feedback and all that sort of stuff, because I thought it would be funny. Uh, but I honestly do have to say a big thank you to uh, a number of people who uh, 
uh, continuous sort of commenters and watchers of the videos and say lovely things about my videos. Uh, so thank you very much. I do appreciate um, all the comments that I get. Um, oh, look, not many, but who needs many when you get the comments I get? Uh, in fact, probably the more people that watch these videos, the more nasty comments I might get. So I'm happy with my little band of troops that uh, get together and we... Uh, Every time I uh, release a video, I tend to see a couple of people drawing along, which is fantastic. Uh, so I, I really love seeing everyone's. And this, honestly, I know I uh, talk a lot of bullshit um, and like to mess around and stuff, but I honestly do. There's nothing more rewarding for me than seeing uh, someone on Instagram posting a picture that they have drawn. Uh, and saying, you know, thanks to JK's tutorial, etc., etc. So, and some really lovely comments too. So, thank you. Uh, as long as you keep enjoying them, I will keep thinking of things to draw. Uh, but also, thank you for suggesting things to draw as well, because you know, uh, I do run out. Well, not don't run out. I can't run out of ideas at the moment because I've not really done that many videos. <laughs> Um, but it does help because I'm like, oh, I wonder what people want to see drawn. Um, so I just draw things that I think people might want to see. So if there is something like a kangaroo playing tennis that you would like drawn, please comment in the section below and we can do that. Uh, I do have a plan for another couple of videos that will be coming up. Obviously Mother's Day is on the way. So uh, we are going to create uh, much like we did for the con uh, we, I did a congratulations video now sorry something's happening here something's not right uh, I did a congratulations uh, card design so we'll do one for Mother's Day uh, so that'll be going up soon I don't know when, mother when Mother's Day I don't know if Mother's Day is like universal I don't think it is a universal date but it's coming up in Australia here so I thought I would uh, take the opportunity to do a Mother's Day design card, design a Mother's Day card. Uh, so we'll do that. Um, uh, I also want to do a video on the best piece of advice because people, I've had a number of people now since I started this message me and ask me for just like one good piece of advice on, you know, improving their art. I mean, other than obviously um, doing the not tutorials, um, I do have a piece of advice that I will pass on that really helped my art uh, and helped me achieve uh, big things. Uh, so that's on the way soon as well. So as long as you keep enjoying them, people, we will keep making them. And as soon as you don't enjoy them anymore, well, it'll be a sad. Uh, okay, let's get this little guy's ears in. I think I, the reason that didn't work was because the other ear was weird. There we go, that's better. There's quite a few gaps going here. I know, I know I said I was trying to make these videos quicker. I say that every video, and it tends to be just as long, just as much dribble. Uh, so I apologise. At least this time I sort of came in with an idea of what we were going to draw instead of just... Because half the time that's how, that's why they take so long, because I honestly am just thinking on the fly. Like, I, I know what I want to draw, but I haven't really thought about, you know, what position the character's going to be in or, you know, that sort of stuff. So at least this time I thought about it, you know. Now, I do know at some point that this camera here... That you're seeing my pretty, well, yeah. well, dirty hat on at the moment is gonna probably at some point go beep 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 beep, and uh, and shut off. So we have a backup plan for that. Don't worry. Uh, not that I'm sure you're worried. Who cares? You just want to see the drawing. Okay, let's get our tennis racket now. I think. Um, look, I'm just gonna go for sort of that as a tennis racket. I think. 
It's only a tennis racket. I mean, we don't need to get too bogged down in details for that, do we? It's mainly about the kangaroo. Ball there. Oh, God, we've got so much to do down the bottom here. <laughs> okay. Not like that. Let's chuck in a few jaggy lines, because obviously it's a kangaroo. It's got fur. Now, obviously, you can take your absolute damnedest time to ink everything really nicely and properly I am just going to you know get it to a point where we're reasonably happy with it let's check in this bit on the bottom a pad that pad underneath Chucking a bit of a heel. Okay, so this one is kind of not facing completely towards us. It's slightly at an angle. So just remember when you're putting in, obviously, the pads of the feet to make them... Because obviously that you wouldn't be seeing this one here fully. Uh, and again, the same with the big pad underneath. Just cut it off. So it gives that look of, maybe we'll chuck in a bit of that action as well, give it that extra three-dimensional feel to it. Okay, let's get this tail in, a couple of creases obviously, because the tail is going to be bending. So just make sure you... You know, give it some realism with the skin folds. Like so. There we go. Oh, tennis racket for our little Joey down here. Oops. Again, I'm not going to pay. go too crazy on details for the tennis rackets at this stage. Let's just get them in there. Oh, that's done. I'm not sure about this extra tennis ball, but let's just put it in for now. Tennis balls have got this sort of wavy line as well. I know that because I have a dog and we have 70,000 tennis balls in the backyard. Okay. Now, don't forget, add, don't forget, add the nice little details, creases, wrinkles. Uh, obviously this is a snout so I would put in a sort of line here and that gives you that sort of three-dimensional look so it's not just you know flat I'll give it eyelids there it's not just flat on the on the page as it were chuck in a few extra lines there bandana would have a little crease going through it maybe just a couple of rogue hairs on the top of the head just nice little details that can you know also cross hatching. You should you should learn cross hatching. Uh, he says uh, that he's never learnt himself. Um, but yes, let's just put in the clavicle, not clavicle, whatever that is. I'm sure, there's an anatomist expert out there watching, going, "You're an absolute moron," and I would agree. Uh, but yes, cross hatching is a good way. It's really nice, actually. It can, when done properly, it can look very nice. When done by me, it looks awful. Um, but yeah, learn some cross hatching. There'll be tutorials on YouTube. Lots of them. That's a good thing about YouTube. Lots. Everyone's literally done a tutorial on everything. So, hence why I don't necessarily call these tutorials. I just say, let's have a draw. And if you learn something, fantastic. If you don't, I said there weren't tutorials. So you've got to blame for yourself, really. Don't know why I'm whispering. <clears throat> okay. 
Now I'm getting carried away with this cross hatching. That's because I uh, have also done a, another illustration that I will put out very soon. Because um, I just, very exciting, I received a piece of artwork from my all time favourite artist. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know who that is. But I have done uh, a, uh, I've done a new illustration um, based on his artwork. And uh, he does a lot of great cross hatching y stuff and these sorts of lines where shadows would go because he's a real artist. Uh, Okay, anyway, enough of that. I'm just going around quickly now because this pen, as much as we love it, uh, does leave those gaps. So when you go to fill your paint, annoyingly sometimes, there'll be gaps. So you, uh, I feel like this needs... See how this section here... I feel like this foot does need a little bit of three dimension on it there. Not all the way, just some of the way. Because because we did it for these toes, it looks a bit weird if we don't do it for this one. Okay, there's a gap there. Let's get rid of that. Now, no matter how many times I go around this, I will definitely have left gaps. So. But if we can just get the majority of them, save ourselves a bit of time here. Okay. All right. So let's color in our kangaroo. Let's go reference. Kangaroos are a sandy sort of color, which I mean, our background is that color. So this might be confusing, but yeah. How have I still got gaps? <laughs> I told you. I told you. You wouldn't listen though, would you? You said, no, JK, just do it. Just go to the car, you'll be fine. I'm like, but guys, I just don't think, just do it. You guys are so aggressive sometimes, honestly. Just trying to do my best and just yelling at me. All right, try again. Oh, oh no, that's because that's really high. Okay, so if that, if that does leak, and you're like, what the hell? It's probably because your color threshold is too high. So all you gotta do is when you drop your color picker on, don't lift your pen, and then just slide it to the left until it'll, it's nice and doohickey like that. Let's just go around filling in our base color. Like so, again, there are many ways to color your illustrations. This is just the way I do it. It's the way that works for me. You may find a better way that works for you. You may not want to color at all because you're a heathen. Uh, okay. Oh, you annoying son of a gun. You know what? I'm just going to hand color this bit because it's only a small area and I cannot be bothered. <laughs> oh, and again with this area. See these gaps? Uh, so annoying, but I think I do like the pen, so it's a price to, it's a price we pay. Uh, still loving the other pen, but for the style of, because I do these kids' books illustrations, I think for the kids' book illustrations, um, it's a great pen. So let's give him, it's a, he's, he's playing for Australia, so we're green and gold in Australia, so let's give him green and gold armbands, of course that's going to happen. Do this one by hand as well. It's quite a aggressive yellow, isn't it? That's all right. No, it's not. I don't like it. It's too aggressive. And my camera hasn't beeped yet, so that's a good sign. I mean, he's probably jinxed that. It's going to go beep beep. Uh, now for the nose, we're going black, but of course, remember, we don't go black black. We just go with like a darky, darkish gray color. Just this area here. Let's make the headband just. Let's just go green for now. Oh, there goes the camera. So let me just quickly change this up for you. Oh, there you go. Hello. 
Quite a different camera now, but that's all right. Uh, okay, so let's continue on. Uh, I jinxed it, didn't I? I didn't know the camera. And then beep beep. I will get that sorted. Uh, if anyone knows how to extend the life of your camera when doing these things, comment in the section below because I am not technically minded whatsoever. No, shock horror. Okay, so let's put our pink pads. Doopy doo we do hickey here. Do hickey do hickey do do. So time wise, I think we're probably from the sound of that, we're actually running behind on time, which is not good because I was supposed to be quicker. Okay. I do want to do some shadowing for you. Oh God, this isn't helping these gaps, is it? But I will not speed up the video, I promise. If you're watching, then you deserve my full speed. No, not, yeah, my, my just normal speed. Okay. Tennis racket for you. This is going to leak as well. Oh, dear Christ. There we go. All right, great. Oh. This tennis ball here now. These that green is probably not the right green for the tennis ball, but we're not going to fuss about that, to be honest. Let's just chuck in the little white bit that goes around there, because you know we want to do. If we're going to do it, let's do it properly. Uh, I want some pink in the ears. So, in for this little one down here, like so. Also, what I do want, I'm going to do a new layer for this. I'm going to now go to my other pen. If you want the settings for this pen, then you just need to go to the How to Draw Polar Bear, uh, and you'll get the settings for this pen. We're going to go a lighter color here. I'm going to up the... Someone's mentioned me in their stories. That's nice. Uh, clipping mask so that we can draw without having to worry about going outside the lines and we're just going to make the give the stomach of our kangaroo just a bit lighter here I'm going to pull probably back the opacity on this as well because I think that's probably uh, it's probably a tad bright that color that's all right because uh, i think from memory koalas have a little bit of a, a lighter colored chest area if not they do now let's so get in there with it i'm trying to get behind the joey here without drawing on the joey so nice and delicately which again means the video is going even longer. Uh, let's bring down the opacity a bit. There we go, that's a better color. Now I do want to get rid of a little bit on the side here. Like so, there we go, all right. Now that color, I want to put that color as well onto our little Jojoey. So you're looking like mama. There we go, maybe a little bit lighter around the schnoz and for mum as well and I do believe they have a bit of a lighter schnoz some of them may even have a grey schnoz but not this one not this one all right so there we go that's that shadowing let's just join those two layers together because we don't have to worry about that now let's do a new layer clipping layer uh, and we are just going to quickly do some shadows to give you an example. I probably won't do the whole lot on the video, uh, just because we probably, I think we really are running over now. But I'll just give you, you know, quick, for those of you who are new, you can go back to some of my other videos and you'll see me doing these shadowing. I'm not the best person to learn shadowing from anyway, so, you know. 
I'm just going to, I just put it where again, wherever I think shadowing would go or would look good. So you just get a darker color. I reckon that whole area there would be a shadow down the side here. Uh, just around here. Around here. Around here. Around here. Around here. Again, I use. Ah, oh, I've missed these spots here. Uh, I use the shadowing to help me with animals and their fur texture as well. If you've seen in the other tutorials, you'll know this. That uh, yeah, it just gives a nice look, and you'll see that once we quickly bring the opacity down. A bit shadow where our Joey's. Oh, arm is going across mum. A little bit of a shadow under there. Let's do a little bit of shadowing in there. Okay. For the purposes of this video, I reckon that's enough shadowing. As you see, drop the opacity. And that gives us a nice little bit of shadowing. So there you go. There is our kangaroo playing tennis. As requested on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked that. Uh, as I always say, uh, if you feel like it, why not give the, the old video a thumbs up, give the old uh, page or channel uh, a follow, uh, click buttons, dings, all sorts of things. Just hit any button that you can. Um, really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed it. There'll be another video on the way for you very soon. Uh, put a shadow here. I should probably concentrate. Okay, uh, there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time, legends.